Hey guys, this is Denise and Danette with Perry Hill Farms. Um, we have gathered our last harvest of English peas and um, we are getting them cleaned up. They do not look as well as the first harvest we had. You can see there's some yellow peas in there. Um, but of course, these are older peas. Um, we have been very blessed with abundance of uh, English peas this year. Our family tends to eat them uh, abundantly <laughs> um, and so while I've gone to retrieve the um, canner and get it cleaned up and get the jars prepped and ready for Stumpy he's gonna keep the keep working on getting the trash out of these and getting them cleaned up for us to get ready we'll load them up in our jars um, here in a few minutes and uh, get our boiling water uh, added to the jars and uh, get our canner filled up uh, and get it ready to can the peas. You know, and this process has worked really well for us, for our family. Um, canning these peas has been the best thing for us. A lot uh, better than a lot better than trying to freeze, freeze them. them. They taste they like, better. They taste better. They retain their flavor. They last a lot longer than in the freezer. So we're going to let Stumpy uh, tell you more about what he does in this process we'll just hand and it over to him okay and about our canner and about our canner too so stay tuned for stumpy all right guys this is eric here again perry hill farms um getting down toward the end of our english peas um actually pulling them up now and just picking off what few's left i've um, got seven more quarts Gonna be canning those here in just a minute. I'm getting my water hot, my lids hot. You know, I'm fixing to put boiling water in there on top of the peas and salt. And uh, so, I mean, there's absolutely nothing after you wash them, put them in the jar, put salt on top of them boiling water on top of that and uh, then put them in a, a canner, a pressure canner which gets up to around 250 degrees which is not anything that's going to be harmful to you and me when we, I mean, when I get through canning a month down the road you can literally take the lid off the top of it and eat them straight out the jar perfectly fine and safe for you to eat you know, the only thing that would cause these peas to ruin in this jar would be the seal, it losing its seal. As long as it seals good, those peas will be good. Like I say, this is winding up our English peas. Um, 27, this will be 14 pints or 7 quarts. So, we're going to wind up with about probably about 50 pints. I have another bag in the refrigerator too I'll probably do in pints. I have a few left here in the pan and seven quarts that I'm fixed to put in the canner and then um, that's about going to wind up our English peas but hopefully we're going to wind up with around 50 pints and you know, 50 into 365 is roughly seven. So, what? You can have a, a, a pint a week. You know, you can have English peas with at least one meal a week. And so, we'll catch back up with you when we take the stuff out of the canner. All right, guys. Back we I just got my English peas in the canner. I had the water already getting hot. And uh, this is an all-American canner. And I'm not bragging. I'm so, so very thankful to have one of these. Me and my son both, we actually bought us. Well, he's fixing to get married. He bought one for him and his house. And we bought one for our house. And uh, we paid three hundred dollars for this canner, but I'm not going to mention the name of the other canners we had. But they had the replaceable seals and 
all that. This canner does not require a seal at all. It never needs a seal. Um, the, the vent, the pressure gauge, any part on it can be ordered and replaced. Um, but it's, it's truly an investment for a lifetime. You can pass this on to your kids, your grandkids, if they so desire to do some canning. But you just tighten these little um, screws down that circle the canner. You let steam, let it start blowing steam for 10 minutes. Then you put your weight on, and this weight is, uh, we do 10 pounds of pressure. And we're gonna do it for 40 minutes. And each each one of those holes in that weight represent yeah. pounds of pressure. This weight actually, you can do five, ten, or fifteen. But our um, uh, height above sea level, we're required to do 10 pounds we're, of pressure. Right where we're located. Here, here where we're located in South Alabama. And so we'll let this blow steam for 10 minutes. Then we'll put the weight on. We'll let it build up then to 10 pounds of pressure and we'll set our timer I believe for quartz it's 40 minutes I think it's 35 for pints 40 for quartz usually it's five minutes difference sometimes 10 I'll double check that but I'm almost positive it's 40 minutes so we're gonna get the steam going put the weight on it let it get up 10 pounds of pressure let it go for 40 minutes we'll get back with you when it's through.